What's up, everyone? Raise my seat up. Howdy. We have tea, and we have music, and we have Skyland. Things that we're working on today is the... Yes. Give me a second. Let's see, we have the temple, Talos Temple. Let's see what this is about. And my order was like delivered three hours ago. All right, we're just gonna dive right in. I don't think I put enough tea bags in this. Or I put too much water in. It's probably what I did. Come on, program. Christ, all Friday. I hate it when it acts fucking stupid. My computer's been acting fucking stupid lately. And I think I might need to upgrade it. I've been trying to hold out for, um, been trying to hold out for the new. CPUs that are coming out and like the second quarter of next year oh the second quarter of this year actually but it just doesn't look that promising as of right now it's not looking promising So we're working on the outside bricks of this Talos temple thing. 
Is the volume up okay? Sometimes it seems like the volume's just really low. And I wish that my voice sounded like nice and as crispy as it does in my videos. But it's kind of hard to get it to sound like that in live streams for some reason. And I hate it. I want this sound better. Let's see. Should I add anything else to this? Let's just keep it like this. Let's do clean for this. And this is going to be dirty. And I'm going to lower this value. How you doing, little Vixer? Sounds like a cat wants in. I'm gonna redo that alf that albedo real quick. I mean the um, occlusion. that always come on I'm gonna have to get rid of that overlay thing like just delete the program Sure, if that's correct. Yeah. Let's take a look at this one here for the dirty. These are going to be smaller bricks than what's in vanilla. Hey, Rob. So, OG and new. But I didn't want to do these kind of bricks again because um, they just look too similar to all the other bricks that I've been using. That's kind of my thing. Um, if 
I get rid of this. We can take a look. I could use something like this, but that just does not look good. So, and I'm using this one a lot already. I could go and do something like this and then pull out something like this. You know, and then take this. Well, I should turn it on. And then here. Here, I'm going to raise this value. Like that. This. Ah, so that's a lot of small frequency there. The rocks are not as big as I would like them to be in that one. But that's another option is doing it like that. Let's see. Let's try any other one. I, mean, I know I'm already using this guy. And that just isn't doing it for me. To be honest, for me. So I'm kind of going with something a little bit different here. Possibly something like this might work. Let's see how this is going to look first. It's just doing it with these guys. And let's hope for the best. Yeah, that can close. I'm going to actually open up this, though, just to have it here. Because I feel like if I can pull up... Let's see here. WH... So pulling these things up here kind of helps me a little bit to know like what textures are being used. And I'm basically only interested in what's on the outside of the structures as of right now. Yes, yeah, so this Talos brick is the big one. And that's the one that we just did. That's what we were looking at there. So I'm going to see how this works out. Weak tea. I don't like weak tea. Not a fan. So did everybody catch the newest video? The newest uh, Skyland video. It's, um, I found some things kind of funny. 
I will, let me see. I'm gonna bring this up. So, here is the video. And I felt like some of the comments were kind of funny. Um, random. Does the Skyland AIO cover the white run cobblestones? I don't see why it wouldn't. And then after this whole video, the whole video, this I get this question. Will Windhelm never get added to the Skyland AIO? Like I just explained, and I and I, I specifically call out Windhelm cannot be added. Because this is already one gigabyte in size, which is the max allowed for Xbox. So I cannot fit anything else into it. I, I don't understand how you can still be confused. And this guy goes, well, the latest Sky Skyline AIO was the 3rd of February. That was the last update for it. But I don't know if this is for PC or Xbox. When has Nexus ever been for Xbox? And if you're an Xbox user, never refer. If you're an Xbox user, never look at Nexus for what I'm doing. Because they're completely unrelated. What I did there was, there's an update on the 3rd of this year, a uh, 3rd of this month, yesterday, because I uploaded the refined LODs that I uploaded for Xbox like two weeks ago. So what I uploaded were the new LODs for, for, for PC people. And then, let me see. This is, so what's better for Xbox? Skyline AIO or two separated land, Skyline Landscapes AI and Skyline Architecture AI? Again, answers in the video. Judge for yourself. And then this person says, I prefer, you know, the two separate Skylands, but if you need storage for the other two, just use the old AIO. I, I, I want to see the validity to this. This is site is freaking out on me. Let's see if the the search feature works. Here yeah, it does. Yeah. I think that's just for PC. Yeah, that's just for PC. But we can still look here. I want to see this here. Landscapes, AIO. Where's architecture? <laughs> architecture. So here's the AIO for Xbox. Right? Yes. Architecture, landscape. These two should be the same. Okay. So we're rocking 1017.3. I'm just going to write that down right there. Actually, I need to do a notepad. 1017.3. Landscapes AIO is three, I'll say 396. And architecture is 784. So 1180 versus 1017. That's really not a big size difference. You're talking 160 megabytes, which is pretty big for Xbox. That's pretty big. But once you're getting to like the gig size, that's a drop in the bucket. So for me, the, the validity of this is like if you're if you're hemorrhaging for space, if you need if you need to sacrifice space, it's really not sacrificing space at this point. Um, or if your load order is unstable, use the old AIO. That is the most stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Because they're literally exactly the same thing one is just in one zip file 
and the other two is that zip file split in half between architecture and landscape. They're literally the exact same files, except the standalone AIO, I put some textures at 512 to make it all fit. Which textures they are, I shan't tell. I will not tell you which textures I dumbed down, but I did dumb down some textures to 512. Yes, the old man in the wheelchair. I thought that was hilarious, saying that I sunset the standalone AIO to show an old man being wheeled away to the to the furnaces. Yeah, because that's what you do with old people, right? Yeah, we burn them. Can't remember. Off to Valhalla. But yeah, and I know what's going to happen in the fall when I release all these updates and I don't update the standalone AIO, everybody's going to ask where the updates are. I'll be like, you're a fucking moron. You, you want me to pack 50 pounds of shit in a 10 pound bag? It's at a gig. I cannot put Lods and, and Windhelm and um, Falmer and Skyhaven and Dawnguard into something that's already a gig in size. They're going to bitch. Mark my words. But why can't it all be in one mod? And I'll explain it. And they'll be like, but why? Call Todd Howard. I don't know. Shut up, elf. I'm a Nord. You do not speak to me unless spoken to. And anytime I speak to you, it will be in a way that does not require a response from you. So in short, I shall never have to hear your voice. Unless it is to save my life, like to tell me that my house is on fire. That's the only time you should talk to me. Because if you didn't tell me my house was on fire, you'd be arrested and executed for murder. What is up, Stone? We're checking out the new stonework in my Talos Temple. Which, that is it. Eh. Looks like stone. Looks like stone. That actually looks fine. Just dead space over there. Yeah, I don't know what else I can expect from that. <laughs> I don't know if we were looking for miracles or anything, but it just, it looks like, looks fine. Okay. Look at my sexy self. I'll tell you, one thing that I try to do. Is always like, even though like it's just, I'm doing this just to test like. Um, I'm just, I'm just testing textures, but I still just try to like make myself look better. Because I just, sometimes just, I just can't st stand the look of the default guy, right? I 
and that's just you know that's just how I feel about it so I just like oh uh, yeah let's, let's get you and like that oversized built look so I just put the weight at zero because I can't stand like that WWF looking type of feel all right Now we're going to do a fun texture. I was like, who's Daniel? And then I saw the name Daniel Autry. It's Gene Autry's great grandson. Remember the cool story that we made up from? We're going to do this. Has anybody ever done this texture before in another mod? I don't know, but we're going to do it. We're going to do this texture. And we're going to enjoy it. I have one of these things and I just got to find it. Here we go. I'm going to actually look up just... Are you really old? Are you really related to Gene Autry? No way. What am I missing about Brutus the Barber here? There it is. Well, you, you know, like, I don't know. I've not heard of many Autrys, but I mean, for real, like, talk me through this here. Thank you. Now, sadly, I can't just do... I've got to do it this way. So... I can't do it, like, over brick, which is what I was hoping I could do. Because I think these vines are shown, like, everywhere. So I'm trying to come up with a solution on how I can do this. Uh, 1.5, oh, 1.5, 2.5, oh, 0.15. I have a little bit of relation knowledge here that um, I have one claim to fame. I'm sure there's more. 
we have different m me and my family have like different ideas of what a claim to fame is but like for me my family hails from here i'll talk to you with the game so we can have more of a conversation because we're we're people so my my family comes from my dad's side of the family comes from backwater virginia along the border of West Virginia and Virginia. And I think my family, well, I know, my family has been in that county since 17-something? Early 1800s, late 1700s? There's a graveyard there with, with people from my family buried in it with headstones in the 1700s. And then... My grandfather and my great grandfather and everybody just lived there and worked there in coal mines and farming, and then my grandfather left after he had my dad there, and then they left and moved here, and so all the way up until like my dad, and my family had lived there for like two hundred years, and um, being in a small community like that, it's kind of everybody knows everybody. And everybody's sort of related somehow. <laughs> um, but the, um, the, the Stanley family was cousins of my family. They were like first cousins. So like the brother of, I want to say my great grandfather married onto, into that family. Or that family married in ours since it was the males of our family got married to a female on that family. So they married into our family. And um, so that's the Stanleys. And that's not the Tools. It's the Singer. So um, you might have heard of them. Uh, but like Ralph Stanley is a bluegrass singer and mandolin player. And he had a brother. And they were Hellraisers. And my grandfather was a Hellraiser. And they knew each other and went to jail a few times with each other. And did all sorts of stuff. Moonshine running and things like that. And um, I was like, wow, that's really crazy. And I asked my grandfather about it. And I was like, hey, do you know Ralph Stanley? And my grandfather was like, that son of a bitch owes me $20. And like hated him. Like, I don't know if he hated him, but had some animosity. I don't know if he even knew if it was genuine animosity. But that was just my grandfather. You never knew if he was serious or not. Like, he was like... My grandfather was like really kind of racist <laughs> and stuff like he would say very racist things and but then uh then he would just go and hang out with all of the people that he would say racist things about and so i'm like are you racist or are you not racist like <laughs> what's going on here but so i never knew like if like my grandfather had any animosity towards the Stanleys, but that's what he said to me was the son of a bitch owes me $20 and I let it stay like that. <laughs> I did not push the subject. But I thought that was pretty fun. A fun little, little factoid. I avoid using the word everybody in small communities are very incestuous because I think that would be a wrong choice of words to say. All right, let's get these darkened up a little bit here. Like that. And I'm gonna rotate this this way I'm gonna rotate this this way I just feel like that's how it should be now let's look at our alpha map hey I just downloaded your AIO I love it thank you for all your hard work is Skyland night sky part of the AIO or the landscapes um AIO how should I how should that stack I don't want two nice guys a don't download the AIO and then download Landscape AIO. Download Landscape AIO and the Architecture AIO or just the standalone AIO. 
recent video about that. Um, so either download the landscape and architecture AIOs or download the standalone AIO. Don't download or try and mix and match those three. The night sky comes with the standalone AIO and it comes with the landscape AIO. Choose one of the two. Best thing I can say. In fact, it's the only thing I can say because it's the right way. Dust on my monitor. All right. The roots is what's cut out. Okay. Got it. And this has no leaves. So some words just trip me up. All right. So I kind of want to do like... Let's do 0.25 and 7.5. And I'm going to set the metalness on the roots to white. There we go. Let's export this as Ivy, and we're going to give this a test run. Now, I know that this Ivy has no leaves on it, but I want to see if I can add some leaves. The night sky, though, comes in the standalone and the landscape ones. Let me do something else here. Just to clear this up, because I get asked this a lot, actually. To be very honest with you, I do get asked this a lot. My mods, all in one, and landscape AIO. Yes, um, the AIO covers four K stars and galaxy, so it has it there. Here's the load order for this. Covers literally everything that's made. Skyline covers snow eyes. Let's do this. Take this, and I'm going to edit this. And we're going to pop this in to here. There we go. Now it is in the description. Actually, ee, let's edit that again real quick. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Skyland Landscapes AIO includes complete retextures of... Not that. Not that. Not that. Not that. Um, I think it covers caves and mines. Boats, shacks, bridges, no, not boats and shacks, bridges, yes, roads, yes, water, all landscapes, mountains, which is granite mountains, towards road signs, orc outposts, I don't believe it does, giant camps, yes, 4K stars and galaxies, or rocks, yep, guardian stones, includes blended roads, and more, no clutter, not that I believe, literally everything landscape that's not man-made. And then, yes, yes, yes. And then, works with any weather and grass mod. Perfect to pair in any load order. Will not conflict with any other mods other than landscape texture mods or any mods that all. So literally, it this is compatible with every mod on the face of this earth. You do not need to ask. There you go. It has been updated. Ah. But thank you for for um, the 4K Night Sky question because I did not know that it was not on the list of things included in the landscape AIO. So that's why people have been asking. So I'm glad that we took a gander at that. And I want this. Okay. Bing, bing. 
Okay. Occur. Okay. Yes. This I can get rid of. This I'm gonna pause. This I don't need. This I'm gonna rasterize. And I'm gonna rasterize this. This displacement I don't need. This I do. What's going on here with these leaves? Because these leaves don't look right for my AO. So let's pull this out real quick for my occlusion. Um. Hmm. Let's look at this. Yeah, one is good for that. Let's pull this in. Let's look at the occlusion here. Hmm. That's fine. Okay. Convert and rasterize. And I'm going to do an unsharpened mask. This, rasterize. I'm going to copy that. Actually, let's do a duplicate of this real quick. And I'm going to do this and this. I'm going to do a filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay. And this is going to be saved with an alpha. Find a linear. And then in here, I'm going to do this, but I'm going to just lower that about here like that and then we're going to take our normal and rasterize I'm going to do a second one and set it to overlay real quick convert rasterize and then we're going to flip that green channel like that and we'll save this out there we go let's go test it in game I don't have high hopes for this I'm glad that the textures make it look 10 times better. That is awesome. Started re doing some recording recently. old song I hope it comes out well but I also don't have high hopes for that either it's a difficult number Hey, Gina. Gina Scala. <laughs> hmm, that does not look like my ivy. It certainly is not my ivy. Interesting.
Oh, IV. We just did the wrong one. Lucky us, it's exactly the same textures. Ooh. freaking out. Photoshop's freaking out. Hold on. I got a little thinking, little thinking circle. I don't want the raw camera. Why did it open this? Go away. Go away. Get started. And cancel. Jesus Christ. Sometimes. Sometimes I just want to shoot this thing. Yeah, I hate the winter and snow too. Hey, Barbarian. Yeah. I hate the cold weather and shit. Hate it, hate it. So May 2022, May of 2022, that's this year, March, April, May, that's three months, so I'm guessing it's going to be the first week of May, since May 4th is Star Wars Day, May the 4th be with you. So May 2022, Obi-Wan Kenobi will release on the Disney Plus channel. Yeah. 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 Just FYI. Just saw it. This makes me happy. Yep, the Obi-Wan series. Okay, and we have No Moss Ivy. Which is... I've got a touch of Ivy <laughs> right here. <laughs> Just a little bit. So the alpha map is absolutely wrecked, but the stone looks nice. That stone, I know which stone that is. I know which texture that is, and we'll get to that next. But the stone is nice. 
I'm okay with it. It's a nice um, opposite to this kind of rough stone. The tallow stone is nicer. It's like they actually cared when they built it. Okay, so let's fix this ivy. No, they're not using Ewan McGregor. He, he told them to piss off. He was just like, I'm never doing Star Wars again. Yes, they're using Ewan McGregor. Could there be any other Obi-Wan? There would be such a fallout if anybody else was Obi-Wan other than Ewan McGregor. People, you just literally could not do the show without Ewan McGregor. Like, simple as that. Oh my god, I can't even, I don't even want to think about it. Don't even want to think about it. I want to know, I have a little, little idea here. Um... I'm gonna try this. We're gonna flip it on its head. You know, um, I wonder about that. It's a good question. Um, does Ulfric care about the city's upkeep? Now, Yay, my EA Play membership has expired, finally. Um, the, um, it makes me wonder if the Talos Temple is like a separate economy and separate government. He just allows it in the city, but the control over the temple itself is absolutely other people to keep, you know, that would make sense to me anyway. I'm wondering what Star Wars helmet should I wear tonight? Which Star Wars helmet do you guys want to see? We have Dirty Stormtrooper, Clean Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, Old School X-Wing, New School X-Wing, and Boba Fett as of right now. Heck yeah, you're right about that, Barbarian. Just keep signing them checks. I will never question what they do. I know a lot of people weren't thrilled with the Book of Boba Fett. Okay, well, our texture sizes are completely way off. Way, way off texture sizes. These leaves are huge. Look how big these leaves are compared to, like, the size of my head. Okay, got it. Thank you. Boom, 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 boom. Darth Vader, and then two for Boba. All right. Isn't it awesome? Yeah. These are worth every freaking penny. I gotta put the foam I gotta put the foam back in here though so it will fit my head. 
yeah. It's awesome, man. It's got padding back here. The uh, pads. But yeah, it's it's very very sweet. I like how detailed the inside is. Awesome. You got to get one. I'm going to put this back to black real quick. So. All right. We're going to try some tomfoolery here. Let's go back into here real quick. see if I have like a just the roots by themselves we download that Let's see what this looks like. So these are just pieces of root. Let's see, let's do a solid invert. That's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna do this and set the low frequency to two. Something like this. Try not to get too much ground. Okay. I'm going to set this something like that. And I'm going to do this first. Yeah, I know. I know. Let's do this, this, and this. So basically, I'll show you what I was doing here. I'm doing like a chroma kind of key thing here. Right, so convert and rasterize. And now with this, so here now I have just the roots saved. That's all I was really kind of looking to do. And I think what I'm going to do actually is do select color range this yes select modify 
smooth of like five, but then I'm also going to do like a select modify feather of like five. Okay, let's get rid of that real quick. Let's just go into here, copy and paste. Okay, so there it is, a little blurred out now, which is good. We're gonna do a color overlay of something like this. I'm gonna set it to Um, actually, let's do Control Shift U. I'm trying to follow the same shading. So, so I'm kind of thinking here, like like this. Maybe I'll do that, and then here, I'm gonna do like a dark, like this. And then I'm going to just try, just for shits and giggles, throwing this over, rasterize, and then doing this multiply here like that. Maybe? It's not really needed. Okay. So convert and rasterize. Control C. Turn that back on. Down to here, like that. Then save this out. And then we'll just pop the normal real quick here. I'm gonna take this and copy it. And then we'll just get rid of all of these. Ugh, it double clicked for no reason. Okay, and then we're gonna set this to be our normal alpha, which is just gonna be reflections and stuff. So back down like that, boom, boom, boom. And then here I will take this rasterize um set this to overlay it might be too strong so i'm going to do something like 75 convert and rasterize and then we're going to flip the green channel sorry and then save that out as an alpha i've never done ivy before in game and i didn't do um and i didn't do it for solitude either if this works, I will do the Solitude one. But in case you are wondering, I, the Solitude IV for Skyland AIO is the vanilla IV. Oh, I need to flip my camera. Game scene. Game scene. More tea. Hot tea. Mm. If the music is too loud or something, please let me know. I don't think it is, but if it is, let me know. go. Keep your fingers crossed, boys. Fingers crossed. It looks good. Who knows? That ivy is so bad in the game just as it sits. So something has to be done about it. Okay. Well, it's better. I think the vines might be too thick. But I could be completely wrong. But it looks better than the vanilla. 
I'm wondering why it doesn't show up like right here. Like what? It's not showing up in certain areas and that's odd to me. I don't think my texture has huge gaps in it anywhere. But I'm open for critique on this, but I think that, that is a good strong start. I think that it's way too big. Let's take a look in here. So it's pretty good coverage. But Let's I can't help if it looks flat it's a 2D plane to be honest with you. I the game only lets me go so far with it. I can't I can't make it 3D looking. It's literally if you look here it's literally just a piece of paper with a picture of ivy on it. That's how it's done. But I am going to do a transform scale. Let's do this real quick. All right? And I'm just going to quadruple this to make it half size. Like that. And rasterize. I'm going to do that again here. Scale at 50%. That. And then we'll do the same thing here. Different rasterize. And then I'm going to do a select color range. Boom, 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 boom. This can go away. New. Let's get something like this. Up. Oh. And put one under it. Much darker. Like that. And rest. There we go there for that. And just gonna got some seams going on, but I'm just here to test right now. Because I would prefer to do that in the texture program. And then here, actually let me snag this guy. Paste that here. And this just takes a second. Here we're just going to do the same thing. Um, texture transform scale 50%. And then just do this this way. Cool. So save that out. And save this one out. We did a new alpha mask, so hopefully more will show up. Unsure. But the vines will be a lot smaller now. Ugh, it kills me. <laughs> like, it's just, it's, sometimes it's too much. Sometimes it's too much. This is the one that we're using here. And I'm looking for... Let's 
surfaces. This is the one I'm using. No, that one. Let's download this one too. Why is that still on? Shouldn't be. Hmm. I'm going to see about turning that off. I want end task. So now we're going to get much smaller vines and hopefully a little bit more coverage. And if not, we might have to reconfigure what we're doing here. And I have a couple of technique ideas that I'm going to do. <coughs> Lots more coverage and it doesn't look like it's stepping and repeating, which is good. That's what we wanted. The snow is resting on it properly. Let's do, um, well, that didn't really do shit for me. Is there any on the back side? Yeah. Fuck off. You fuck off too. All right, so that's better. A bit random. Nothing too cray cray going on here. I'm happy with that. So let's look at, see if we can get it a little bit tighter. And what I'm looking at here, I'm gonna pull this in also. I'm gonna see if I can add just other roots. We're going to rotate this to go this way. Just feels like it's going left to right in this view here. So I'm going to put this on. And what we're going to do is we're just going to raise the roots out. Is what I'm looking to do. So it's kind of opposite. And I'm going to get this color. I like the color of these. And we're going to double up on the repetitions. Here, let's set this to like one. So this could be 0.5 and we'll do one. Eh, I don't like that. So I'm gonna do the chroma, but I'm doing it opposite. I'm gonna see how that works. More vines. So let's export this as the ivy. And now we don't need to do the doubling up 
of the texture. But you can definitely see this line, this line. You can see these rows happening here. It's not something that I personally enjoy, but if we look here at this one and I double this up, you're going to get the same thing here too. Oops, my mouse just flipped out on me. This one's a little bit harder to do because the roots are closer to the ground. And another thing I can do here is I can do set my low frequency to 2 to really make the roots pop out. Jesus, mouse. So if I need to, I can do something like this right here. But let's go into here real quick. Let's back it up. And I'm going to remove all of these. We're going to pull this up again. And yeah. Rasterize. And I'm going to set this real quick here down. Something like that. And then multiply it. And then here... I can do a select of green and well select color range green there we go and then select inverse and there is just our roots by themselves pretty pretty simple pretty simple um another thing I can do is I can just go like this select it and then do modify smooth select inverse and delete I just kind of smooth some of those edges out and what I think I'm going to do let's keep that as it is but I'm going to re-export without this so now we don't have to worry about the green so the ivy is used on ground and walls, to be honest. It's kind of used everywhere. Okay, and rasterize. And then here, I'm going to do this color overlay. Color overlay of that. Something under it that's going to be darker. There we go. Convert and rasterize. So this here is going to be our alpha map. I want to see what happens if I do a Gaussian blur. Filter. Blur, Gaussian blur, 15. Now, let's do that. Let's see how that holds up. We'll take this and throw it into here. And this is going to be our glossy map. All of this I'm going to delete. This I can get rid of. Put this right in here. Boom, boom, boom. And throw this in here. We don't need to double this one up, I don't believe. And I'm going to do green invert. I think I will double it up, but I'm just going to pull it back just a touch. Overlay set to 75. About right there. And save it out. Both of those are saved now. And awesome sauce. Let's go check it out. <sighs> a lot of work. So we have 14 people in here. Welcome all 14 people. Welcome to the Sky King stream. Where we make Skyland. We play other video games when I have time. Um, we talk, shoot the shit. On this channel, I also upload videos pertaining to Skyrim and stuff for right now until another game comes out, right?
but y'all are y'all probably already know that you're here for a reason I know a lot of people watch this just as background noise and they never interact they don't even say anything a lot of people that watch these streams I've never talked to I wish they would say hi but I get it if they don't it's okay Okay, here we go. Enter the game. Oh, that looks cool. I like this one better. <laughs> but now that 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 this part is back again. The blink the bald spots. Why did it do that? No clue. There should be no bald spots. Oops, I fell. So that's confusing to me. Why it does it sometimes and not other times. I like the texture. The bald spots wouldn't wouldn't bother me if they weren't like perfect squares and like had 90 degree angles and 45 degree angles and stuff. Like this just cuts off perfectly flat there. And that kind of bothers me. So I'm going to try something real Fast. I, it might be because I. So I'm going to take this real quick. I think it's maybe because I blurred this. Mm. And it didn't like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Now save. Yeah, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Save it a few times. Now, looking in here, I don't mind this one. It's just that ground has got to be masked out somehow, and I'm just not getting enough root pattern. I mean, I can try and do the low frequency up higher, like that. I can try like something like that right there. That might work. We'll see. I want to say more like that. So if the other one doesn't work, we can try this. And then I have this homeboy, which has the leaves, which I kind of dig. Right? Ah, that's way too now. Let's get that texture resolution correct there.
So there's this this kind of look. We can try them all. Let's see if the sharper alpha alpha map works better. Bald spots. Oh yeah. I like this texture, but I one thing I don't like are the repeating patterns that I'm seeing in it. Like this. This is not going to do it for me. So it looks like we're going to have to use the other one. Which is this guy. Let's take this, pop it here. So that's that. Let's get rid of that. So that's our mask. And then we can do it again without the mask and export that. And here we go. And here we'll set our levels to be a lot better and multiply that, convert and rasterize and sharpen. Now, another thing that you can do, if you can't make a mask, you can try and work your levels to do something like this right and throw a blur on it I think five should be fine so you can do something like this and check it out I'll show you these. I like to keep my layers clean so I don't get things confused with what's what. Okay, I'm going to take that, throw that in our alpha, and then here we'll get our normal, and uh, right here. And then I'm going to rasterize and just flip the green channel. Save that. So we're going to see what the homemade alpha map will do versus using the mask alpha map. See if it's any more natural. I think it will be fine. I think it'll look good. Sparse leaves. I was thinking about that. I was thinking if there's a way that I could do that. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Like, I was thinking about throwing this on there. Just seeing what's up. Like, just doing something like, like that. And what I would do is I could um, easily mask out those leaves. I'll show you here. So I can take that and just export. Okay. And then from here, I can throw this on. I'll, you know, I'll throw the AO on it too. And rasterize. 
and rasterize that. Multiply. So we could do something just like this right here. Now let me check this A real quick and just see if I need to shut it down a little bit more. Like that. But they're kind of behind the roots in some places. Kind of looks a little weird. Yes, the queen. Okay, so this texture doesn't do the bald spots. Looks a little rando. It's not as clean as the vanilla one. That's kind of my thing here. Doesn't do the bald spots, which is nice. These people, all up in my way. I think doing the leaves will hide some of the quirkiness of this. So let's do this, okay? Here is this. Let's throw in our metalness map. This is my leaf mask. And we're gonna rasterize this and we're just gonna say select color range of this, thank you. Turn that off, turn this off. We're going to combine these, convert and rasterize. I'm just going to take these leaves, put them up here. So there's our leaf textures. Actually, you know what I can do is I can just set this to, is this, no, you know what? Let's do that. Let's, let's, let's do the leaves like that. And here I'm just going to do a, um, Let's do this, 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 something like that. Okay. And I will go ahead and give that a Gaussian blur. And again, just make sure that this is set correctly. And pull this together, convert and rasterize, bing, bing. We're doing this all handmade here, y'all. And then over here will be a new normal map, which is this guy. And I'm gonna double it up and set this to overlay. And convert and rasterize and flip the green channel. I'm gonna save that out. Yes. Yes and take a gander at that. So I'm thinking that this might actually work. We'll see. We'll see. The ivy is very difficult and I knew it was going to be difficult. I'm trying to avoid having to hand make it. But if we have to hand make it, I have one last resort, a technique. One last resort. Which isn't a bad resort, thinking about it. It's not a bad idea. Hmm. I mean, all the ivy really is is just wood. So I just need a good wood texture, which I have. And I need a mask to mask out the individual vines, which in the vanilla alpha map I would have. Which is interesting. Hmm. If this doesn't look good, that's what I'm gonna do next. It'll be an old technique, but it will check out. Sometimes when you're limited on options, you get the most creative, you know? Oh no.
No. This isn't doing it for me. All right, check it. We're going to go cray-cray here. It's time to go crazy. Here we go. Let us open this, 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 architecture wind helm, and give me, where is it? Here. Actually, I just need this one. Okay. I need this and this. And then let's open this guy. Let's go to my backup folder for Skyrim. And give me White Run Raw. White Run Raw. That is so hard to say. Give me this guy. We can close this out. Give me this. And let's set this to like. thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Give me, let's open, let's back this up. Give me this also. Let me see what your alpha map looks like in here. Give me this guy. And then in here, let's do an edit transform scale boom 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 I don't really need it to be super clean it's perfectly fine if it wants to be a little distorted let's set this to overlay but I really just want the shading so what I think I'm gonna do is a Gaussian blur is that what I want no let's do a 100% let's get rid of that let's just get rid of that Okay, so let's do that and let's do a couple of adjustments here. Hue and saturation. Let's do a saturation. Let's let's lower this down like this. Okay, and let's do a color balance. And I'm going to throw in a little bit more green, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Something like that. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do here. And now we're just going to take this, say screw it, and pop that in there. Call that a day. And here, wait, what is this? What is this? What is this? Did I do it wrong? That is my OG. And that is that. And this is that's the wrong one. Okay. So in here, give me this guy. Let's go into here and paste this. Let's do some levels on it. About like that. I'm going to keep the original normal map just for testing purposes. And this. So hopefully the alpha map will just pull out the wood texture that it needs, which is technically what it should do. If this doesn't work, I'm going to move on to other textures. But this, in theory, should work. In theory. You want to see something cool? I'm going to try something cool. Hold on. Okay, that's off. We're going to try something very cool. All right, hold on. Get this up. Cool, 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 cool. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, cool. I always wanted to try this. I'm going to try it. This will be fun.
<laughs> yes. Fader in the dark. Always want to try that. Thank you for sticking by. Give me my mouse. Game scene. Everybody needs a lightsaber. Even if you're not a fan of Star Wars. Like somebody breaking in your house. All you got to do is just turn that on. You know? Like if they just like come in. I mean, come on. Real metal. It's You just... People come in the house, door breaks down, they're like, oh, it's dark in here. You just, and people go, oh, shit. Yeah. Everybody needs a saber. Well, looky here, y'all. Now, is it awesome? No. Close? Yeah. Kind of janked it in some areas. But, it's a lot better than where we were at. Normal map's a little low, little low poly. So you can see the, um, if you look here, you can see the snow. You see how the snow is pixelated? So that's not good. But we're a lot closer. So I'm going to move on and fix that much later. That's a good texture. See, now that's a good texture. My ivy does not look that good. That's where we're going for. So. Let's look at this guy. And this is Mix Stone Trim. And then here is Talos Brick. So, I'm going to close. These are fine. This is fine. All of this is fine. This ivy, I will get back to you later. So, note to self, redo ivy. But Daddy's got better things to look at right now. So, we want... Not that. So we want Talos Brick and Mixed Stone Trim. So WH WH QRST. So we have Talos Stone Brick done. And now tallow, uh, mix stone trim. So W H K L mix stone trim right here. Thank you. I love that texture too. So this is a trim piece. These are super popular in video game development. And it's basically it's a contact sheet um, of textures. And it's not it's not designed in a way for this to go on one object, but it's a trim piece to go on many objects. So for instance, this is a trim, just this piece right here. So this guy, that's a trim. And they when they map when they UV map the object, they'll just like select a trim on the on the 3D model and say this piece is textured by this section of the texture. And then they'll say, um, around the door, this piece right here 
this piece. This goes around the doors, you know? So that's how these work, just FYI. And they, they kind of suck to reproduce, but I'll show you how I do it. Um, basically just have to kind of hand draw them. Um, if you want to go for like one-to-one, -one, you know, type of a deal here, which I do. So choose like a light gray, and these are gonna be for all of your high bumps. And I'm gonna actually make that a little bit smaller here. But the reason I do it this way and kind of keep with the traditional is because some of the meshes are designed specifically for these textures. So I like to just kind of make sure that I'm doing it right. Um, just to make sure that, there we go, that everything, that the textures line up with the meshes. It's basically all it is. And then we just kind of hand draw the details back in. And it, it, it gets tedious, but at the same time, it's perfectly fine. Now, this is the only part of this tear sheet or trim sheet that I'm gonna actually draw. The other two are pretty pedestrian stone textures and I'm not really gonna worry too much about it. Oops. And then when we're done drawing the height map, we can import the height map into our texture program to remake it, um, to use it to, for the textures to align with. So if I look here, this looks like a corner. So I'm just gonna take this real quick. Like that. And I'm going to make a new texture. I'm just gonna paint in here real quick. And then we're just gonna take that out. And I'm going to do a gradient overlay. And we're just gonna choose a basic here real quick. And I'm gonna pull this opacity back. And let's do like 90. Let's do 80. Yeah, 90 was good. I'm gonna hit OK. And then here you can kind of just set where you want the gradient to be. It needs to be a lot thinner. No, that needs to go away. This needs to be 80. There we go. And then in here I can just set that to that. And then for here, I'm going to set this to a low gray, about here, and then the white, I'm going to make it eh, something like this. And then we can set our opacity back, and there we go. So you can kind of see how I've mimicked the shading in there. And the hand-drawn crack lines crack lines <laughs> okay and then finally we're going to just take one of these guys right here a little bit big make it a little smaller we're just going to do this and this is super easy to do we're just going to do literally the same thing that we just did we're going to take that actually let me do put the fill at zero so i can see through it and then we're gonna add the gradient. We're gonna set that down to about here. We're gonna make the gradient a little bit bigger, maybe at like 60. Yep. And we're gonna raise the color just a tad so it sits a little bit proud of 
the gradient behind it here. We're anticipating for that. We want these to protrude from it. Like that. Easy peasy. And now what we're going to do is turn this off. And we're just going to take this and just put it over each and every one of them. And it takes for freaking ever. The least fun we're going to have all day. And this is why I really hate doing these trim sheets. Some of them are really super in-depth. And they're really not fun to do. But when you get it in, your texture program ends up being all right. Now I wonder if I did convert and rasterize and then duplicate this, these all line up. Not really. But they line up better than I thought they would. Just a little bit of tweaking here. They're not perfect and that's fine because it looks more handmade. Does that make sense? Cool. That works. So now that's that part done. And I'm going to just throw that into a folder. Um, I wish I knew where my black lines were. Oh, wait, that's on the texture itself. <laughs> okay, never mind. My fault. So now, how can we tell the program to look elsewhere? So what I'm going to do is do stuff like this real quick. Okay, like that. Let's do a new texture. And let's do this. And then under that, let's just like something just slightly darker. There's that. And then down here, I'm just gonna select this and select something pretty dark also. All right. Nope, didn't want to do that. Let's take this color and just pop it right here. There we go. So now we can do save as a copy to our desktop. And we're just going to call this, no, we'll just call it that. Just hit JPEG. And now. Uh, I'm going to get rid of all of this crap. I want to delete it. Thank you. Mm, copy this color. And then here, we're going to put in a solid layer with a displacement. Load. Boom. Now, you really can't see it too much, but there you go. There it is. Now let's get our stone, or rock. Night, y'all. Night, night. Thank you, Daniel, for joining us. So now that we have this texture, we can raise this up. And then we're going to warp to underlying. Now you can kind of start seeing it take shape. I'm going to blur it just a little bit. Now I'm going to get another stone texture. And this one, I'm going to set darker. 
And this is going to be like our grout lines. We're going to wrap that to underlying also. So let's get rid of, let's just look at the albedo real quick here. You can start seeing it kind of coming in. Let's get rid of this. Let's go back with that. There we go. I want, I'm going to try and get it just a little bit darker here so I can really kind of see what's going on. Let's get this guy the right color. There we go. And I'm going to make this a bit tighter. Like that. Cool. And then this guy is the wrong color, so we're going to go ahead and make it the right color. I like that. Nice. I like that. Now what we have to do is put in the other two textures, which is going to be okay. It's going to be pretty easy to do here. So this I'm going to throw in here. Let me just turn those off. So we got a dirty brick and a square block. It's fine. And then it's going to end right here. Up to here is going to be our square block. And then this is our dirty brick. So for the square brick, we have it. We, it's what we were using before, but I think I'm going to use this guy instead. And we'll shrink it. We'll do more repetitions on it. I'm going to change the color to that. I'm going to raise it up. And we're going to put a one of these on it. And let's set this to 2D. So I can look at this properly. That's all the way down. And then just kind of do that number to it. So now, perfect. So I'm just basically deleting where I don't want it to be. That's it. Simple. Very simple. And then up here, I think we can actually look at that real quick here. I might put in some plaster on him. Where's my plaster that I like to use? I think I like to use this one. I'm going to set that color to something a little bit lighter. Actually, let's, yeah. For right now, I'm just going to keep it right there. Then we'll just desaturate and bring down the value slightly. Cool. And then we're going to do the same thing with the height map here on this guy. Just like that. Now I see that these lines here can actually come up to here. So I'm going to block that out. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay, so I hope that's correct. I hope those lines line up properly. I have no clue. 
And now over here we have a kind of a bricky looking texture. This is the first brick texture I've come across in all of Skyrim. First brick looking texture. I'm going to use this guy because I like it. And I've used it elsewhere. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to duplicate and make it repeat more often. Yeah, look at that. That's actually not shabby. Just like that. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just kind of liking how that looks. Just like that. I'm going to raise up the low frequency. And let's do a height map on him. This is going to be. This is a little bit more tricky. I don't go over that line. And then I'm also going to go right through here. Okay. And then the last thing is these little trim pieces on either edge. That is going to be another one of these plaster walls I'm going to put up here. With this, I'm going to clear the mask. And I'm going to do just like that. That should do it for me. And let's raise him up. Like that. Cool. Awesome. This should technically work. Will it? I don't know. But it should technically work. Looks right. We're going to go ahead and save it out. Okay. And in here, let's see what happens. Let's go in here and make sure that these image sizes are correct. Cool. All right. That's the normal map for us. And then here, we're going to have a much more colorful maps here. Let's set this correct. Multiply. Masterize. Shouldn't be an alpha. So I can go ahead and save this out. Let's just color, fine and linear. And then up here, I need actually this guy to put here so we can set our alpha map for glossy.
even though this is not utilizing one. Interesting. So color and alpha, fine and linear. I'm excited to see how this is going to look. It's getting game. Oh, it's already open. We should quit that. Quit, quit desktop. Yes. And now let's kick it up. So yeah, so basically each one of these sections is a different trim piece on a building or it could be used throughout all of when home spot you kind of have to be careful and sometimes stick with the vanilla pattern or the vanilla artistic direction because you really don't know where these textures are going to be used unless you just go and hunt them out um i have tried to get creative with these and just kind of do things my way and every single time it just doesn't work out um the game just fights me on it and when i go back and kind of go with the original art direction you can still have some creative freedom there, but it just seems to work out a lot more when you kind of follow the same path as the vanilla textures. You don't have to follow them note for note, but to keep the same ideas tends to work out more in one's favor. And I've seen other texture packs where they'll do something completely off the wall and it ends up not working completely, or it'll work really well in some places, but in other places it's a catastrophe because the texture wasn't designed to be used in a certain function and you, the, the mod author didn't see that area or didn't know that it was being utilized for that kind of purpose. So it just ends up not working. Um, for instance, you know, when I was doing the farmhouse walls, I was doing the wood slat plaster look like the Cotswold type house and the issue is is that they also use it for the roofs and it doesn't look right all right so these are our new trim pieces new trim wall so that's new all the door surround is all new and that looks fine That's the new bit. Yeah. Not shabby. That plaster between the stones might be a little much. But aside from that, I'm pretty happy with it. What do you guys think? Let's take care of that plaster. And aside from that, I'm pretty good. Do, do, do. So in here, it's this plaster that I'm kind of like not a fan of. Um, I can also replace the map if we're just not happy with it. Also, we can simply just do something like that. Easy. Which is what I think I'm actually going to do. One thing. I want to do a paint layer. And I'm going to open this up. I'm going to choose this. There we go. That's actually pretty fine. Let me see. 
So this actually is coming down a bit too far. So I'm going to look at him real quick. There we go. Much better. Some, so I knew something was off. There we go. And now we can export that. And pop it right on into here. Wait for it to up wait for it to update. And it has. Oops, not that. Wrong one. Actually it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be honest with you. Because I'm gonna use this anyway. Oops. This needs to be multiplied. Convert some object, rasterize, filter, uh, no, filter, sharpen. Oh, come on. Back up. Sharpen, unsharpen map. I'll just pull this down. There we go. And then in here is our normal, which I think I'm going to actually duplicate it quite honest with you. Invert. And save that out. Cool. And then this one, all we got to do is just paste it. I can get rid of all of this. Hit save. This is just a color, fine and linear. That's it. Easy peasy. Let me look real quick, huh? Block trim caps. So we need to look at the block trim caps as the last one, I believe. We do have this texture, which I already have an alpha made for that. We have that already taken care of. Window maps. I'm not doing the windows. Uh, WH Bird is this guy, which we're not doing yet. What is that? What is this called? Block Old Small. Okay. Oh, I remember that. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So, three textures yet. This being one this one, this one. One, two, three. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Let's check out our trimmy trims. Slowly but surely. Just look how polygonal that is. Didn't feel like smoothing. Well, it's bricks. It shouldn't be too smooth. That's a fun little seam. Didn't cover that one quite nicely. Yeah, I hate the ivy. I might just make it invisible and just get rid of it completely. Huh. I wonder if that would make people mad. I wonder if that would upset people. Makes me wonder. does make me wonder should I just get rid of all of the ivy in, in Windhelm mm -mm. my cat's asleep on the couch he does not care to partake in this one do you do it? nope Fingers crossed this looks good. Oh yeah. So much better.
perfect texture sizes. Perfect. There's the texture that wants me to redo. And then these trims here. And then this outside with the bird and the crap there. Easy peasy. Actually, really easy. Standard issue, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. I'm cool with these trims. Very much so. Y'all let me know what you think, but I'm kind of cool with that. It's cool seeing the design from building out the height map to throwing it up in the game and seeing like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I see what's happening here. Very cool. Okay, so it is time to do, um, I want to get this guy done right here, which is block trim, block trim caps. So while this WH, oh, where'd you go? Oh, Photoshop was like, we're done. So WH block, block deco, block decoration, block deck trim, deco trim, block small, I believe that's the one we have to do here, and then trim caps is here. This is block old small. And then there's block old small. And then in here is block trim caps. And that is block trim caps. That's cool. So we can open those. Very easy. These actually look pretty easy to knock out. that okay so the trim caps is three trims for this sheet so what I'm going to do is actually do something like this Yes, this should work pretty easy. I'm going to just put this here. I, you know, Trinity, I'm with you on that. Like, I don't think I would miss the, the ivy either, to be honest with you. Like, I feel like I'm just kind of like, eh, about it. Like... I don't know. I feel like there's other things to worry about. So 
this is going to be done very similarly to how we just did this guy here. So we're going to get rid of all of this. Um, am I? Am I going to get rid of all of this? Am I going to get rid of all of this? Yes. What I'm going to put in place. This I want to keep. So I'm going to delete that mask. Um, these two I'll keep. So yeah, let's just get rid of all of this. Uh, we're going to keep the paint. Let's get rid of these though. Okay. Then we're going to load in what we just made so we can kind of see what's happening here. There's that. And then our this layer, we're going to load in our new displacement map, which is this guy. Boom. Simple. And then it is such a nightmare. Yeah, it'll be 2.5. Yeah. The last two rows are different, not the same. What do you, uh, I'm not sure. Windhelm is such a nightmare though. So let's take a look at our pattern. I'm gonna just convert and rasterize this because I don't need it. Um, so that's this is just stone. These are the exact same stone. This is just two rows of stone. So for this guy, I'm just going to put him down here real quick and I'm gonna turn these off. And we're just going to offset this. And let's put that back to zero. Let's offset this. And let's actually do, let's see if we can do this. Dang. Can I just fit? Oh, I can fit three in there perfectly. That's what I'm going to do. Right there. And now let's put our height map in here. I'm just going to do just through here, like that. And then up, up, cross, cross. See if we can get a little closer. Like that. Cool. So that's that row. And then here, I'm going to take this and I'm going to do another one like that and we're gonna go right through here just like that actually let's do it through here shall we And then I'm going to do it for the same guy here. There's a map. Let's turn this back on. Just like that. That should work. And then I'm going to set this back to 3D so I can actually like look around. Like so. Um, I think the third goes around the door arch, the bottom, I'm not for sure. The bottom row has a different grout from the second to bottom row. Yeah, um, I kind of wanted all the three of the textures to be kind of different, but it is pretty much exactly what is in the, I'm going to lower this real quick. Um, can I get this just to zero? We'll go over that in just a second. Let me get this knocked out. So this guy... And then we have this guy here, which I'm going to put at like 7.5. And yeah, we'll do that. And then here, pull this back and just get it in the cracks. Cool. Like so. That's what I'm looking for is like, just like that. Now I'm thinking might not want let me get this let's get the 2d view here no back that out what am i looking for i want
little less there. Cool. Back to 3D view. That's fine. Let's get to just um, 2D. And that I can cover with the other one. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that these, let's do delete the mask, delete the mask. Let's put a mask on this. Let's pull this up real quick. Look at this 2D view again here. like that that'll be fine and then here we'll do the same thing I'm just gonna bring it up to the edge instead of overlapping because I was getting some errors little artistic errors but nonetheless errors in my book cool hmm there we go there we go nice I'm talking about the bottom section that you currently are working on as three rows is actually two. Yeah, it is two rows. I'm doing three instead. It's. I don't think it's going to matter too much. Um, there's also no stones in here, and it's supposed to be like six stones across, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six stones and then two stones up here. So, and then here I want this, I think, to blur the underline just to make these a little bit more rounded. And let's get this back on. So just kind of a little bit more rounded in there. Can I get this brought? I want maybe this a little darker. I'm thinking. Where is it at? Here it is. Just something like that. Give me the Albedo map. too dark something that's a little darker and then you should probably do those five stones in there too I was almost yeah it's got to be the same texture so I got to paint those those bricks across the bottom there um this bottom section here is one trim by itself. In vanilla, it's two rows. I'm making it three. I don't think it's really going to matter. Um, I know that this goes around the windows for sure. I don't know where else it goes. But we'll see how it looks in game. Let me get that tightened up real quick. So let's set this off, actually. Let's get... I'm just going to make some small little cuts in here. I've found to not go too big with these because like substance painter designer and mega scans make them like twice as large um, once you get them into the texture gen so it's usually not good to make them too thick and make sure that your lines connect um, back in the day I used to um, like I would get like my pen tool, you know, and I would literally just draw over everything like this. But I found that that didn't work out so well all the time to do it like that. So sometimes you just have to kind of do it with a selection tool, but this is definitely a feasible way of doing it. It's just not always the best way of doing it. So pick your battles when doing it with your pen tool. And then this would be like a 30. Right? 
So you could do it that way if you wanted. But you can also do it this way and then just put a Gaussian blur on it if you wanted to. Oh, that's gotta be a little bit bigger. Oh, hello. Oh, back it up. Shift to five. All right, now we can do a save as a copy. And desktop and JPEG. JPG. Right here. Yes, I'd like to overwrite it. Why doesn't this default to yes? Let's get this open again. Displacement, uh, load. There we go, and then set that there. So you can see the kind of the lines are back in. Still not exactly where I want it to be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our strength. We can set it to like something like 10. And then you just have to adjust the height to go over it. And then we can dumb down. Oh, not that. This one. And that's the albedo. But that's the way it would look in game. I'm not liking the super sharp lines on here. So we're gonna take a look real quick at that. I'm gonna make some of these lines a little bit thicker. Just not by too much. And then I'm going to set, let's see if I can do a Gaussian blur on that, which I can and I'm going to. And we'll save that one more time. So once you have everything kind of set up, all your paths set up, it's just, it's easy to kind of just tweak things. So we'll just load it up again. And we'll overwrite that. So it's kind of made the, the textures a little bit more blurry. We can turn on our 3D view. You can see how deep I made the cracks. So if you want, you can always lower it back down again. So like something like five, we can say. And this, I'm just gonna pull this back to where it just barely comes up like that. And then this guy, I can pull it back down. That's it. And then here, we can do a blur of the underline. Like, hmm, I'll do it like that. This, pull it up just slightly, about a five. Turn that off, and that's a preview of what your albedo is going to look like. Well, yeah, once it's done. So here we can export this. I'm gonna do a save as. I'm just gonna copy this caps. Here. Hey Mario, you finally made it. Jeez. Okay, let's get back in. We want this. Let's check our image sizes here. We're just doing everything at 4K. Stick it to the I mean stick it to the 2K. Always double check. Right now we have these guys. Very similar. Rasterize. Let's check that AO out. There we go. And here I'm just going to do a multiply like that. Up here at the top, we have like this little bitty white line. So I'm just gonna take this copy from somewhere else, basically. All right, let's do this first. Let's convert to a smart object. And then we can kind of take this here and just fill that in real quick. And you don't really need to worry about it um, 
lining up or anything, to be honest. There we go. So that is our displacement map. And then in here is our ugly normal that we're going to replace with our new normal. Ours is a lot less, a lot more refined. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this first. I've noticed there's not a lot of normal alpha maps in Wimhelm, and that's odd to me. Copy right in here. This actually has one. Interesting. After I just say that, it wants to make me look bad. Yep. Yep. And this is with an alpha and fine and linear. Okay. So, this trimmy bit, right, is here on the edges and at the top. So it's the corners, the top trim, and around the windows. So let's see what we're what we're jamming to over here. I think it should be okay. anybody uh, watching uh, Book of Boba Fett at all? How easy is it to swap a texture? It's super easy. Um, all you got to do is just open the folder of the mod of both, of, 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 you know, both, right? So you find the file of what you want to replace and then you find the, the file of what you want to replace it with, make sure the exact same name and then just paste it over the old one. Um, back up the old one, I would suggest. Um, and as long as the new thing that you're wanting to paste over it is, you know, 2048 by 2048 or, um, you know, it should be fine. All right, check it out. So, Yep, that's fine. That looks fine. That looks fine. Um, yep. Looks like it's supposed to. And then the windows. Yep, they look pretty good. Let's get a closer look, shall we? That is not something I've done yet. This is. That's pretty much fine. Yeah, looks right. top trim I don't think that is the top trim um, no because it's the same as what's down the side so I guess this top trim is covered up with ice fun do 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 that's what's around the door no no that's what I just made that's fine what's around the window looks fine Uh, the rooftop, yeah, we're not even, haven't even touched the roofs, roofs yet, roofs, such an odd word. This isn't even textured. Cool. 
cool. So let's get that texture done now. Should be quick and easy in and out, painless type of texture. Blah, blah, blah. Um, let's do this, 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 um, this guy again. We seem to be using this guy a lot in, in, in Windhelm, so we're just going to use him. Boom, boom, boom. And let's cancel that. Let's pull this up. Give me that. And let's pop this bad boy right here. I'm going to lower it a little bit, I think. Something better. Let's think about this. Um, I feel like there's something else I want to add to it. And I'm not sure what. I feel like there's something I want to add to this. Something like that, yeah. Right? Cool. And I'm just going to pretty much just desaturate that. We'll put a little saturation in it. But I'm going to change that to something a little bit more. Uh, maybe we could do that. Can I do something like that? No, that'd be cool. Just to kind of differentiate it a touch. That's what I'm looking for. little less on the green you know what would really help me is if I was doing this just through the albedo there we go now we're not getting affected by any lighting or anything Feeling good right there. Something like that is going to be good for me. All right. Cool. And this texture is called this guy. Save as. Block small. Let's set that right. If this will let me. Oh, felt like closing out. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool. Mm -mm -mm. And that is this guy. Telling you, ever since Adobe went went subscription, they have just gone down the drain. They've just been focusing so much on acquisition and getting users that their product itself has just diminished completely, but they don't care because so many, it's become integral to so many people's pipelines, right? There's so many um, plugins and all of this stuff just readily available for Photoshop that when you try to replace it with something else, you can't because it, it destroys the whole pipeline, the whole workflow is gone. 
And so basically, Adobe's got you in a pickle that they're like, yeah, you can not pay us money anymore and do whatever you want to do. But good luck. So it's like, you know, if you're using Unreal Engine, for instance, right? Unreal has a bridge between Photoshop and Adobe and and, and, and Unreal Engine. So you can update things in Photoshop and you see it happen live in Unreal Engine. And if you don't use Photoshop, then you don't have that bridge anymore. So it's, it's just small things like that. And when you're you know, doing this kind of stuff for real and like doing it for money and doing it as like a job, time is of the essence. It's, it's, you can't sit there and try and make decisions and be like, oh, let's be creative about this or something. You gotta, you, you have a quota. And so if you get rid of Photoshop and you destroy your whole pipeline, that could add, you know, six months a year to development. Photoshop, I mean, Adobe knows this. They don't care. So now you just have to use Photoshop and deal with it bugging out and doing whatever. I mean, I was using like Adobe CC and it was just flawless. It was sturdy. It, I never had an issue and it was snappy no matter what I threw at it. I could be working on, you know, 8K, 16K crap and it was just fine. And this new stuff, it just suffers and it can't do anything. You try to run like, go, if you have Photoshop, go in and try to run the, um, the, th the 3D filters, like the, the, the normal mapper bump mat, the, the whole thing will just freeze and bug and then the UI gets messed up and it's, it's it's ridiculous absolutely ridiculous they have a good way of just buying other companies out they bought substance right who does substance painter and um, substance designer along with other pieces of software that is integral to um, game dev integral integral uh, they're basically the main like substance painter and designer is what everyone uses right because they're still not like i mean they they might use mega scans a lot but they really kind of don't and so like now adobe owns them too own substance and it's just going to be a matter of time before it just goes down the shitter but yeah, I feel you on that, Gina, but to be honest, it is $10 a month if you want to just do the subscription. All right, and then here's our new texture here, which looks absolutely brilliant. Yeah, looks fucking great. I'm not gonna complain with that. Yeah, so here is our new textures with the trims. Looks good. Not worried about that at all. Yep. The eagle and this top, this trim piece here is it. But everything else is fucking done. And I might just make the ivy invisible. Like I did over here. See? No ivy. Look at that awesomeness. It's this is why I don't mess with meshes, because I would it would just be a rabbit hole. It would just be a rabbit hole for me. Should I do these stairs? I don't know. Let's see if we did anything inside. Let's see if there's anything inside. Oh, yeah, these floors aren't done. The stairs are definitely not done, but those trim pieces somehow are done. Oh, look at this. We've accidentally done the inside. <laughs> okay. Oh, they use the floor for the walls here. Interesting. Noted. I'm 
I'm glad I didn't put moss and all sorts of other crap on here. And dirt and stuff. Those are some cool looking stones, man. Who's this bitch? I have no clue who you are or what you're wearing. I like who who are you? And I want awesome clothes. Okay. Well, we'll find it. We'll we'll talk about you later. Yeah, it looks like there's that one trimmy piece. Oh, that look at that. There's some Z clipping happening. That's a mesh you, I like to call it. <laughs> oh, you just fucking move seats. Like a like a phantom. Q. Well, I'm pretty much a hundred percent on on this. Uh, I cannot see anything wrong. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yep. Except the floor. I do like that trim. I like that trim. So that is, I know what that tile is. We're not doing interiors yet, so I'm not too worried about this. I'm just kind of like summarizing in my head, like the things that I'm gonna have to do. Oh, that's the, the rough stone from the bridge for the floor in here. I hate it. I mean, I like the texture, it looks fine, but I just hate how it's like one large piece of stone. Like, I don't think they moved a large piece of stone in here to just build a stage with. Damn, bitch. How did you even get in those things? What mod are you from? I, I have no clue. Z fighting, Z clipping. So let's see here. Hmm. I'm trying to find some um, reference images of what I'm trying to find here real quick. Not really what I'm looking for. Okay. <laughs> so, sucks. All right. Yep, yeah, I'm not going to be able to find that. All right, so that's done, that's done. Pulling this up here. Everything else seems to be done. That's done, that's done, that's done. Didn't do the eagle heads, so basically we're just looking at this guy, um, that trim thing. Now let me pull up this thing. Let me go to my backup here. 
I'm looking for the height map that I made for this, which should be right here. So I need to open up, come on mouse, let's close this out and let's go into here and find that trim here. So sometimes I do work before I start streaming just to kind of keep things to a minimum. So here we are and let's do image size, that's fine and this guy image size that's fine here bing bing cool so this i can get rid of because i don't care this because i don't care this i'm going to turn on because i do care i'm going to delete the mask and delete this mask this i'm going to delete ah, i'm going to keep that but this i'm going to delete these can go bye bye turn this on and let's load up this fucker which is right here Boom. And I'm going to do a, yeah. Where is this at? Let's go down and let's turn on this. Wow. So I don't need it that high. We can do something like two. That's fine. And then we can pull this fucker back something like that let's look at our albedo and let's turn off this and let's do 2d awesome sauce I'm gonna call that a day And then let's do this. We'll pop it about right there. Maybe a little bit more. Right there is fine. Okay. And now I'm going to do an export, and this is going to be called WH Talos Trim 2. So I'm just going to do call that done. And then let's do this this guy up and we're gonna look at Telos trim 2 fine masterize blah 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 check our levels multiply nice all right layer flatten image and I'm just gonna do an unsharp mask Copy that. I don't think there's any alpha here now. Pop it. There we go. This doesn't have one, but I'm going to put one in there anyway. And this, I'm going to rasterize and duplicate and overlay it but I think I'm actually going to do something a little bit more to this because there's just not enough here not enough bump information so I'm going to set this I'm going to invert that real quick but then I'm going to actually set this to overlay let me double check this hmm No, nope, that's not gonna work. So we're not gonna do that. Not going to do that. Um, sadly. 
Let's just see how this cooks out. And then we'll adjust from there. Let's just check in game first. Looking at the vanilla, I don't think it's going to be too bad. Okay. Don't think it'll be too bad. Like, what do you mean, do I make it all by myself? I make, I do this stuff as I'm doing in this video by myself. I don't like make the software and things. Okay, and the trim piece. That doesn't look right. <laughs> and that looks wrong. Because I didn't save it. it. Must be getting late, or I've not had enough coffee. Thank you. Now, run. I'm kind of worried about losing some detail up here. And I was hoping that the normal map was saving, but the normal map doesn't look rough enough. And I thought that it would, but apparently the normal is not generated by this guy, which I really thought it would be, right? Here it kind of is. Oh. Interesting that it's cool here. Why would it do that? Oh, I get it. Because that must be where the stones are not showing through. Boom, and I'm correct in this assumption. So if I take this out and pull this over, and then do the same thing here, and that's what's happening. So if I go to my normal map here, pull this back. And that's that. Interesting. It is so much work. It's almost too much work. Look again, and yay. I feel as though it looks more painted on then actually carved in, which is a problem for me. I don't like that. So, I have a solution. I have solutions. So, quick save and get out and quit and yes and here. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this number. 
and I'm just going to export that bastard one more time. Oh, well, thank you, Gustavo Barbosa Nunez Suarez. Well, let's open this bad boy up, pop this in here, rasterize, and then here I'm going to set this to overlay. Let's do something even cooler, like that. And then here, I'm going to set this to normal, that to overlay. And then here, I'm going to do this. Let's go back into here real quick. Um, let's pull this back down to two. Can I get this, please? Thanks. And then here, do something like that. And then export here. Man, that this update ain't coming out to the fall. Like, go ahead and just. Well, actually, Windhelm will come out long before the fall. This should come out by March, but like, or end of March, but like, you know, go for it. Let's put this in here, rasterize, and set this to overlay. Oh, Kidoki. Wow. I'll tell you what doesn't look good is those things. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to, let's turn this one off. Let's do this and let's just kind of fucking delete that. And then here I'm going to go boom and boom like that. That should save those out. And then, actually, let's put this down here. Oops. Let's put this down here. I'm going to set this to normal. I'm going to set this to normal. So they're the same things. Okay. Then this, I've set to overlay. Boom. That's what I was looking for. Nice. And this one, I would like to invert the green channel, just like that. This one here, I need to invert the green channel, just like that. And then we can save this bad boy out. Finally, that's exactly what I was looking for. Now we should be ready to go. So basically, yeah, so this will hopefully make it not look like it's painted on. We're gonna get these bigger details on here. It's basically all I was really kind of wanting. And then if we need to take it a step further, I've got a second layer in the wings. If we need, to, if we need it, you know? Right here. Thank you, Heinsker Skyrim. I'm glad that you like the LODs. They really do transform the whole game, don't they? I really think they, they um, it just it just ties everything up together and just makes it look solidified at that point. There's no more gaps or seams or anything. It just makes everything look good. I've actually heard that the LODs mod actually looks good with with mods other than Skyland too, which is great. You know, if somebody wants to run Tamrielic or they want to run uh, Cathedral or, or, you know, anything other than the Divine mods, I'm sure it will look and run phenomenally well. Awesome. Definitely looks more carved. And looks old. Which is all I wanted in life. 
let's go outside. And it's just not like overly done. It's not some cray cray thing. Gina, you get some rest. I'm about to go get some rest myself after looking at this texture because this is the last texture that we're going to be doing. Cool, the snow sits perfect on it. That's what I was wanting. Nope, go away. So this is what I was wanting, is to see it resting on it like that. Perfect. Why didn't they put the eagle head in the middle there like they did on the inside, I wonder? Because the wings make more sense with the bird head in it. It sucks that it's not gonna it, that 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 texture is not lower. But everything else is pretty much fine. Thank you, buddy. Good night. All right. Well, that's it for the exterior of the temple. Um. Got the bird has to do, but we're saving carving all the carving textures for another um, another uh, stream. We're getting like all of the big big things out of the way right now. This texture is gonna have to be the next one that we do. <laughs> I put red all over it so I could find it easily because we thought it was a bridge texture. But like these trim pieces, so I guess. The next area we could do are all of these stone pieces back here for the next episode. These ground textures, these steps are also on the inside of the Talos temple. Yeah, 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 yeah. So those bottom trims are also the same as those other trims over there. That's just the same as the wall. So red stripey, these steps and trims um those trims back there those are three textures that we can redo um i think those that wall right there is that part of the trim but i'm unsure but i think we can get all of this knocked out back there and we should be okay yeah that graffiti is just helps me find the textures. Let's take a look over here real quick, because I think there's this like this mud puddle texture, right? Um, let me do so this mud puddle water texture. I don't know where that's coming from, so I gotta find that too. But all of these, so these trims are also the ones that were back back there by the rich houses. But this, yeah, that trim piece. So these trim pieces are being repeated all over. Got it. Okay. And we haven't done any of the trims because they have carvings in them. And like I said, we're waiting on the carving type mods, which would replace these. So they're all using the same texture. So that one texture is covering all of those. Here's more. This is a trim here. I know for sure. This is one of those solid... Um, rock it's like windhelm solid one or something like that these are all done except for the wood these big blocks is the other block texture we did the ones on the bridge which is fine has everybody seen the bridge raise your hand if you've not seen the bridge and these blocks are the same as the other blocks this is the textures that I wanted to get into were these guys so I would like to find out where this texture is because it would cover a lot over here. So that trim's been done already, but this wall hasn't. So I wanna get this done along with everything by the rich houses. So those are four textures. And it would also cover this house here too. As you can see, our trim is done, but not those walls. So we can knock that out pretty easily same block textures as before there's a more there's another solid 
there's more trim piece. And here's our graffiti wall again, which again would be covered. And there is our new rock walls. This is all done. All of this is done. There is n all of this is done for the eagle heads and this carving here it is all done. That looks done, 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 done. These trim pieces are not done because it's carving. I'd say we're about 50% of the way through maybe. No, we're not. Like 40% of the way through. All right, and Huffy, I'm gonna show you the bridge. You just wait two seconds, okay? Just two seconds. Oh, nifty, look. These textures have all been redone. Those are the ones that are in the temple also, so that will be done at the next stream. And that floor right there will be done. But look, all of our textures. Not bad. Not bad at all. You see what happens when you stick with a color palette and, and use like the same colors? What happens? Ugh. Ugh. Um everything just matches. Nothing is out of nothing's out of place. Because you never know where they're gonna use the textures, right? You go, oh, they're using the textures here too. And so if you like make them specifically catered to like one area of the town, you know. Like, I could have taken these textures and put snow on them and stuff, but because I saw them outside, right? So I just, like, put snow in the texture, and then you go, oh, they're using them inside also. Now you got to go remake the texture again without the freaking snow. And apparently I can fall down. <sighs> oh, Skyrim, never change. All right, let's look at the bridge. So, for instance, I put snow in this stone texture here, and I don't think it's great. It looked great for the bridge, but nowhere else. So we're going to go back to the beginning here. First off, in my Windhelm, I've changed the bridge to where it's not crap snow anymore. It's a nice bridge. This is the only bridge in all of Skyrim that has the snow on it, and it looked bad. So I replaced it with a non-snow bridge. You know what? I'm just going to TFC this crap. Yeah, that's exactly right. So, here's our new bridge. And the outside walls. The um, pillars in between the wall sections have not been done yet. But, yeah, those have not been done. But these are done. For being a 2K texture, it held up okay being blown up that big, like 300%. I like how they didn't even like try and bevel that out. They just like, no, nah, keep it flush. <laughs> no one's ever going to be down here looking at it. All right, so the bridge. Here's how the houses look. Don't have too much control. The, roo the roofs have not been done yet. The blocks have been redone. And the trim. And there's your ground pieces. Here is the trim and the gateway entry. And here's the interior floors. These are only used on the bridge. So I don't didn't feel too bad about making them snowy by default. We can go downstairs. This is just a waste of space. Like, this could be so decorated to be cooler, and it's not. And it's just so 90 degree angle everything. It's like sharp edges. 
you know, it just looks like a Doom level from the early 90s, and it just looks like shit, but whatever. And then the inside. The um, ceiling is one solid piece of rock because somebody carried a one piece of rock this big and used it as the ceiling. And the shitty window trim has been fixed. We made a lot of fun of that in the stream. Um, I like how the alpha map came out on here. It looks really cool. This, um, you can kind of see the light to dark areas. It kind of blends really, really well. So I'm happy with that. Um, these blocks came out really well too. Even though they still look very amateur in shape, texture-wise, they're pretty good. And the trims look really cool and carved and stuff like that. I'm happy with them. I think they look really, really funky. And um, they kind of have a whimsical kind of fantasy feel about them. The big chunky grout lines and stuff. It kind of makes the bridge look a little bit more, looks a bit bigger. So I, I like the way that came out. So I'll be happy to get get the rest of all of these trim pieces done through here. Like all of those center trims and stuff. It would be fun to get that knocked out. And the eagle heads and stuff. I think that'll be a lot of fun. But other than that, um, you've seen the inside of the city. I kind of am just, instead of doing it texture by texture, I'm doing it section of the town by section of the town and just kind of doing it that way because then you kind of get a sense of where the textures are going to be um over here i'll show you real quick here's our new these are the new textures for the farmhouses all new wood textures and i'm quite ecstatic with how they came out the doors will remain the same but everything else is new because I'm not redoing these doors again fuck that fuck that and some mod is rewriting the textures of these and I don't know what mod it is but that looks like shit but yeah everything else I'm, I'm very happy with I might even use those wood textures on the um like the rafters that you see around forts and stuff like that. Like, what is retexturing these things to make them look so shitty? Ugh. I gotta find out what mod that is. But yeah, <clears throat> pretty happy. <clears throat> Our dude is... Looking like he's ready to go on the cover of some magazine. Definitely a Chad. Definitely a Chad. So I'm happy with how this all came out. Yeah, we'll save. Save. We can exit out. So basically, that's it in a nutshell. Um, we're, we're making our way downtown. Moving fast, and we're almost homebound. Um, but yeah, we'll do those. We'll do the, um, the section to the right of the gate, and then the rich section in the back left of Windhelm on the next stream. And that should knock out six textures, seven textures, or something like that. Should knock out a good bit. And from there, like, really kind of all I'm seeing in my folder is the wood textures and a lot of carved textures, which shouldn't take, like, the carved textures are going to take a long time. I just need to come up with a good technique on how to do them other than doing them by hand because it's not accurate doing it by hand in some instances. Where some of the carvings are just so intricate and stuff that's kind of more difficult to do. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. It's been emotional. 
Um, we're at like the three hour mark or something along there. I don't know where we're at. We're at 3.30. Three and a half hours. So this is where I like to go. Um, thank you very much. And I will check you out all laters. And um, hit me up on the Discord. Bye, everybody.